A New Mexico sheriff is headed to prison for the next three years. James Lujan was sentenced today after a jury found him guilty of helping his friend evade police. Integrity, honesty, and leadership, those are just some of the words promised on Sheriff James Lujan's bio page for the Rio Arriba Sheriff's Office. The people of Rio Arriba County elected you to be sheriff. They put their trust in you to uphold the law and you let them down. But today he was taken into custody and sent to prison. Yes, Your Honor, I try to do the best that I can to help everybody I can and I am no way would want to harm anyone. Lujan was on trial this week for helping former city councilor Phil Chacon hide out from Española police in 2017 after Chacon was involved in a chase. One of Lujan's deputies also told investigators he told them not to say anything about it. The law is the law. You are not above the law, nor can you ignore the law when it serves your purpose. The sentences will be served consecutively for a total of four and a half years, of which three years of imprisonment and one and a half years supervised probation. And Lujan could face even more time. As I was investigating that, I started getting lots of calls from other people about concerns they had that Sheriff Lujan had done other things. Among those other things, refusing to hand over his cell phone when officers served a search warrant involving the Chacon investigation in May of last year. I'm invoking I'm my right to an attorney right now. Okay. You understand that? So take him okay. in. Book me for what? For obstruction. And in March of last year, allegedly showing up drunk to a crime scene again involving Phil Chacon. You're in charge? Yeah, yes. Bring who in? Phil Chacon? That's who you have a warrant for? Right. Pull everybody out. Hey, I'll bring them in. I don't want to pull them out. Huh? I don't want to pull them back. Excuse me? I'm not asking. I'm telling you. I will bring him in. Okay? Lujan is charged with resisting, evading, or obstructing officers in those cases and scheduled to go on trial next month. Rio Reba had a sheriff that definitely felt he was above the law, but definitely um, was very arrogant. And he would use that power to interfere with other investigations that weren't his investigations. You let down the people of Rio Riva County and you let down the Sheriff's Department, the department that you led. What kind of example were you giving the people that you supervise? The district attorney told us Lujan apparently resigned from his position as sheriff after the verdict came down yesterday. His attorney, Jason Bowles, says he does plan to appeal. This is the second Rio Reba County Sheriff to be sent to prison in recent years. Tommy Rodella was sentenced to 10 years in federal prison for pulling a gun during an off-duty traffic stop in 2014. Last year, Rodella appealed his sentence after there was a change in a federal firearms law, but the judge denied his request. He has about three years left on his sentence. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.